Hey everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie! Uh, Grunty's Revenge! I am Rick 400, this is Spillers Harbor, and this music is kick ass! I'm sorry for swearing, but it is! It's it's just freaking awesome! I love this music! Again, this is my favorite song in the entire game! Probably one of my top favorite songs from Banjo uh, Kazooie! The, the song is amazing! I even favorited one of the remix, or someone did a remix of this game, or this game music. It really is! This is mind blowingly good music! Uh, but anyway, Spillers Harbor, uh, Blige Haven, Blige, I don't know how to pronounce that, you can tell me in the comments. Uh, this level is, I said it was hard, it is hard, at least compared to all the other levels, but it's probably not, does it help you find your way? Because <laughs> Zoo does make some good, ref uh, some good, uh, uh, blind, or not blind, but like, uh, messed up eye jokes in this, uh, uh, level. Um, and now we learn in the Wonder Wing, now it works a little bit different than how it did in the, uh, other games, you have to be on a pad, but you have more feathers. You have like 20, 2, 4, 5. Um, and we're gonna need that coin for later. But yeah, the music is just amazing. Uh, on the, even on the Game Boy Advance, it's just amazing music. Uh, but the level is fairly difficult for uh, the game. Um, probably one of the hardest levels. I still be on three video or uh, three levels, but keep in mind I've done this before. I did a few test runs. Uh, we need to kill these birds. And we also have note nests. I don't believe we had those before. Note nests, and there's one hidden behind there. If you didn't see that barrels, those ones. Are kind of, there's some of them that are really hidden. But note nests are uh, basically five notes. They're kind of like a combination of how Banjo Kazooie had regular notes and Banjo Kazooie had note nests. I am glad to see you. The name's Alfred Peacock. Yeah, that. There's nothing wrong with that name at all. I believe it's a parody of Alfred Hitchcock and uh, Peacock, the kind of bird he is. But the way they spelled it out, yeah. It, I don't even need to make a joke about that at all. It, it, Alpha Peacock, yeah. He's a Peacock. So, um... This level's... It's just, again, the music is so amazing that anything that's frustrating... There's one really frustrating thing about this level. Uh, really frustrating. But, um... The, what the hell is that thing? Boo-hoo-hoo, what's a mother squirt to do? Why are you crying, Miss Squitter? I think this is going to be a big job, bitch. <laughs> Kazooie, there's anything we can do to help you? Please, can you help me? My li we just asked you that. Um, so we need to find her little squirts. I, 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 yeah. We need to find her little squirts, whatever she is. Um, and she will give us a jiggy. Uh, we have to do things to get them, those. Think, uh, I think, think like, uh, uh Miss Boggy in, uh, Witchy World in, which, which world, Witchy World, whatever it's called, in, uh, Banjo Tooie. And look! This one is right next to her. What are you, a bad, a crap, a piece of crap mother? Well, probably literally too. But seriously, you, your kid was right over there. You couldn't go move over there, and don't give her the whole thing. She doesn't have legs. They show clearly later on that she can move easily. Let's go to Bazai first. And yeah, the way the kids talk is kind of annoying. Is it just because you live in a hole, or you've all always had tunnel vision? <laughs> that one made me laugh. I'll oh, ignore that Miss Seed for brains. Now listen. If you see a green pad like this one next to me, with a big foot on it, or I think you could ugly foot, watch yourself in the air, it calls the shock spring jump, because it'll shock for a bird to have to do some work. You watch yourself, Bazai. Oh, you already are. <laughs> so yeah, the shock uh, pads are actually quite useful. We can now use them. Uh, they're now turned on, uh, unless you need to turn it on with the switch. And we can use them to jump, like in the other uh, Banjo games. And I'm glad they uh, added that, in, or have that in this. It's a good move. Uh, you see that switch? We'll be needing to do that for something very uh, annoying later on. And the last episode is the hardest jiggy in this level. Possibly the hardest in the game. Possibly. I uh, should use the uh, Wonder Wing to break all these TNT boxes and get uh, jiggy. So while I'm doing all this stuff, uh, Beatles Rock Band. Now, I'm, I am I enjoy, you know, Rock Band, Guitar Hero. I wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't be, I'm not a big fan of them. But I like them. I don't, I, you know, I think they're good games to play. If you know, for what they are, they're good games. Uh, I think the whole music fad, fad type thing has gotten a little, you know, some people get too into it, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a good game to play. Uh, I, my brother's got it for the Xbox 360, uh, and I will say it's it's a very enjoyable uh, band or Beatles rock band, just regular rock band, really enjoyable. Let's go back to this Squitter. Here you go, little one. Is this what you wanted? Gee, thank you, Mister. Wait till I show my mommy. Can't do a little kid voice. I could, but it would sound. All right, I did, but I can't do it well. Uh, what else? Uh, that switch will be for later. Get these notes. 
Uh, more notes. Uh, bees. Don't go past those bees. Those bees are horrible bees. They'll kill you as soon as you go near them. Uh, we need to use the Wonder Wing. Uh, but you saw that switch, so yeah, we'll be needing to use that switch to turn on the Wonder Wing and kill those bees, because otherwise you'll, you'll never be able to get, um, uh, what you'll need back there. We'll worry about that later, though. Let's go past Peacock again. Um, Alfred Peacock. It's Cock. Alfred Peacock. Uh, we got back in here because we need the, uh, uh, oh, oh, I, how did I forget what it was called? The jump pad move. I, I believe I said that, I just forgot. The shock, shock pad, yeah, shock, shock jump, shock spring. Thanks, shock spring, I don't know, whatever. Uh, make sure to kill this guy up here, though. And look, black Jean Joe, I think I already saw one, yeah. But the Jean Joes in this level are black, I guess, because the oil. Um, oh, the music is just heavenly. It really is, I mean, I really do, I just really enjoy this music, it's just... Really good music. Uh, go past here, and uh, let's go talk to Boz. No. Yes. Bozai. Uh, we're gonna lose, lose, learn the last move in this uh, level. Nothing I'd like to see more than the load of sparkling notes. I should think he's lucky to see anything. Now I've got a little something that'll come handy against Grunty's flaming friends. Use these ice eggs to swap them with our. Because you, I wouldn't want you one of these to get stuck on your tongue. And you be careful, I don't give you some frostbite on your way back down the your hole. That's not very ice, Kazooie. Very punny, Banjo. Uh, I hate these little pink grunt things. They really are, they're annoying. Uh, you see there's a honeycomb down there, but we're going to go there later because there's something we can use to easily navigate this swampy water. Uh, you can probably guess what kind of thing it is. Uh, here's the other squit. Hey, mister, you like bird, don't you? Some of my best friends are birds, why do you ask? Maybe you can help me get an ice cream from the ice cream van. Uh, get back to his mom. Pull up a stool and we'll get the ice cream. Here you go, sweetie. Hope you like it. It wasn't easy to get. Thank you, Merry Muth. Uh, bye, hug you, th hug you Thune. And he committed... He jumped into the poison water. So I guess he's... I guess he... I don't... I guess he can survive it. I hug you Thune. I don't know what that makes any sense. I hug you soon. I... Okay, I, I don't really want to hug you, but little kids, what you could, I, I don't know, I don't want really to like little kids. You know, I just, uh, too hyperactive for me, though I'm pretty hyperactive myself. But I don't know, I just, they drive me crazy. But, they're learning, and you need to use this to get up. I don't like the, sh again, part of the problem with being on the Game Boy Advance is some of the uh, depth perception gets messed up. It's kind of hard to tell where things are located. Located, and this is one of them. Uh, but in the meantime, I gotta talk about something else. Um, Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon. I love. Uh, uh, I, I love. I, I'm watching the Pokemon the anime series, the or the anime, the first one. Uh, the first season. I'm not gonna watch the other ones because right now it's starting to get kind of repetitive, but not too bad. Um, but really, it is really enjoyable. I probably have to say my favorite character so far is James or Brock. James is really hilarious. But yeah, it's, it's, it's good, you know, everyone's watched Pokemon, but you should really watch it again, because even now, while I still like Dig Digimon's plot better, Pokemon's still enjoyable, and here's Grunty, he's a little, a little different of a battle, you have to actually hit her brown spots in order to, I guess, freeze them and damage her, I don't know. But yeah, that's what you have to do. And you can hit the blast that she uh, sprays at you with uh, the Ice Age too to defend yourself if you want to. But yeah, I'm I I I'm watching. I'm up to I just finished Beach or no, not Beach Beauty. Uh, Tentacruel and Tentacool. Uh, and yeah, it's 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 a good show. Um, it's I don't think I'll go much past uh, episode or season one. I will say one thing that annoys me though is how like Ash gets almost all of his badges except for two. From one from Lieutenant Surgeon, I believe one from Blaine. Uh, he gets them all for, out of pity. Or mostly pity, or yeah, pity because he beat Team Rocket. Like, oh my God, you beat Team Rocket, awesome. And actually, or a fluke, like how he beat Brock was a fluke, and also pity for that matter. I'll talk a little bit more about this next time, though. Um, so this has been Make 400, reminding you to go to Japan right this moment.